Dear students, I hope you are well. Today I will teach you Chapter 2, A Friend Who Came From The Sky, written by Padma Rao. Priya Chhatro, Mujhe Aasha Hai Ki Aap Achche Honge, Aaj Main Aapko Padma Rao Dwara Likhe Tadhyay, Do Ek Mitra Jo Aakash Se Aaya Tha, Sikha Unga. So let's begin the topic. Lesson to A Friend Who Came From The Sky Part 4, Translation. Poor Ducky, how he must be missing his friends, said Bunty one of the children, in the evening, watching the duck. Pechari, vah apne doston ko kaise yaad kar rahi hogi, Bunty ne bachcho mein se ek, sham ko, patak ko dekhte huye kaha. It is all the more hard for him now to make new friends because he is lame, said Anju, and realizing too late what she had said, quickly covered her mouth. Anju ne kaha, uske liye ab naye dost banana jyada mushkil hai kyunki vah langara hai. Anju ne kaha aur bahut der se jo kuch usne kaha tha usse mehsoos karte huye jaldi se apna moon dhak liya. We will make him strong, said Minnie. After this incident, the neighborhood children became very friendly with Minnie. The children had at last realized the anguish Minnie must have gone through because they did not play with her. Hum use majboot banayenge, Minnie ne kaha. Is ghatna ke baad, paros ke bachche Minnie ke saath bohat dostana ho gaye. Bachcho ko ant mein pira ka ehsaas hua ki Minnie unke saath nahi gai hogi kyunki ve uske saath nahi khelti thi. The next day Anju brought a fat book with her, see, you can read all about ducks in this, Mitra is called a shavala, the children crowded around her excitedly, and read all about the habits of shavalas. Agle din Anju apne saath ek moti kitab le aai, dekhe, aap isme batak ke baare mein sab par sakte hain, Mitra ko favara kaha jata hai, bachcho ne utsaah se uske charon aur bheer lagai. और फावलियों की आदतों के बारे में सब पढ़ा। Mitra must have flown hundreds of miles, no, said little Priya. Not hundreds, thousands, corrected Bunty. He will fly back thousands of miles to his home again. Mitra ने सैकड़ों मील की दूरी तय की होगी, नहीं, छोटी प्रिया ने कहा। सैकड़ों नहीं, हजारों, Bunty को ठीक किया, वह अपने घर में हजारों मील दूर फिर से उड़ जाएगा। Finally, the day of departure for their avian friend arrived. Minnie's father took all the children and the duck to a nearby lake. The children lifted Mitra from Minnie's lap and gently released him into the lake. Ant me unke avian dost ke liye prasthan ka din a gaya. Minnie ke pita ne sabhi bachchon aur battak ko paas ki jheel me le gaye. Bachchon ne Mitra ko Minnie ki god se uthaya aur dheere se usse jheel me chhoda. He started swimming, shoveling the water with his beak. The children stood there for a long time, watching. Usne apni chonch se pani nikalte huye terna shuru kar diya. Bacche kafi der tak vahi khade rahe, dekhte rahe. The next day, Minnie went into the balcony to watch the children play. There was no one in the park. Suddenly the doorbell rang, and in trooped all the children. Auntie, please send Minnie to the park to play with us, they said. Agle din Minnie bachcho ko khelte dekhne ke liye balcony mein chali gai, park mein koi nahi tha. Achanak darwaze ki ghanti baji, aur sabhi bachcho ki tukadi dor padi. Chachi, kripaya Minnie ko humare saath khelne ke liye park mein bheje, unho ne kaha. We will bring her back safely in her wheelchair, with the help of willing little hands, Minnie was taken down the stairs to the park. Minnie never had reason to feel lonely again. Padma Rao, hum usse wheelchair mein surakshit wapas laenge, tayyar chhote haathon ki madad se, Minnie ko siriyon se niche park mein le jaya gaya. Minnie ke paas fir se akela pan mehsoos karne ka karan nahi tha. Padma Rao, Thanks for watching, I hope you're learning well, have you a nice day.